Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners to Advanced. So in this lecture, let's discuss about the next types of uh, sweep surface command in generative shape design uh, in Katia. So uh, let us start with the uh, lecture and we'll move to the shape and then the generative shape design. Let's keep the part name as it is. And here we'll see uh, what are the remaining uh, commands we have. Uh, let's click on the sweep here so uh, you can see the swept surface definition dialog box and you can see the profile types so first uh, is explicit we have already covered uh, all the types of uh, explicit type then the next is the line type so also we have covered all these uh, different uh, subtypes in our previous lectures and the circle uh, so so we have already covered this uh, circle subtypes as well in our previous lectures so if you have not watched them, you can go to the playlist and uh, watch them completely. So we have already covered um, uh, almost uh, 17 types of ships uh, so far. So let's move to the last uh, profile type, which is nothing but a conic. So let's uh, select this as a conic. And if you see, there are subtypes as two guide curves, uh, then three guide curves, four guide curves, and last is a five guide curve. Uh, so let's uh, see uh, what are the inputs required for the uh, two guide curves in this uh, lecture and we'll see uh, how, how to use this uh, two guide curve subtype um, with a practical demonstration. So here you can see the inputs uh, such as guide curve 1, then tangency, then angle we can provide here, then the last guide curve, then tangency, last nothing but a uh, second uh, guide curve, then tangency, angle and the parameter. So parameter we can provide. Uh, so uh, Based on the uh, uh, conic profile we need, uh, we can provide this uh, parameter. So let's say uh, if if you want uh, if you want our conic profile uh, to be as a parabola, then we can provide this parameter as 0.5, and this is a default value in uh, Katia. So uh, if you want to change it to hyperbola, then we can we can uh, uh, change this parameter size uh, parameter value greater than 0.5. And if you want ellipse, uh, elliptical uh, profile, then we can uh, provide a parameter value which is less than uh, 0.5. So this is about the parameter and what these are the inputs. So if you see in the diagrammatic representation, so we need to provide a G1, which is a guide curve 1 and G2. This is a second guide curve. And this T1 and T2 are the surfaces, which are the uh, tangency surfaces uh, for these guide curves. So either we can provide the surfaces or we can use uh, the uh, uh, existing planes or maybe we can create a planes uh, to provide a tangency. And as usual, we can use this relimiter one and relimiter two options. So let's uh, discuss this uh, with a practical demonstration. And before that, uh, we'll create uh, some of the uh, uh, guide costs, some of the inputs uh, which are uh, useful for that particular sweep surface command. Okay, so let's create uh, the profile so before that uh, we'll create some planes first so just uh, select this plane here and they will create an offset from this plane so just reverse this and uh, let's uh, create at 100 offset so this is uh, one plane and one more i will create on the other hand where we'll create that uh, guide course okay so now we have these profiles uh, sorry the planes so if you just uh, expand this you can see the planes are here plane one and plane two so just select the position sketch and uh, we'll sketch on this plane first so here uh, let's create one line i will create a simple line here so because we are just understanding the command so we are uh, so we can we can better understand it with the help of this line okay so just exit it and then similarly on this profile we'll create one more okay so just uh, select this select the plane here click on ok and then here I will create one more uh, line here, which is nothing but will be a guide curve two for us. And then exit the workbench. So we have uh, these two lines and these uh, two planes. So we can we can definitely uh, make use of that uh, sweep type here. So let's uh, go to the sweep type and then the two guide curves. So uh, select the guide curve one. So this is one guide curve and then the second guide curve or maybe uh, after that we can provide this uh, tangency so we can uh, select this plane uh, as a tangency again select the last guide curve uh, this is the last guide curve and then the tangency so again i uh, will uh, use this as a tangency so here uh, let's uh, keep it zero for now 
and if you try to period it will throw an error okay so you can see the error message here sweep dot one the geometric sweep with conic section two tangents are collinear so these are nothing but a collinear so we need to provide some uh, reference surfaces and uh, we need to change these angles here you can see the angle right so let's try this uh, try changing this angle let's try to change it to 15 degree just click on preview and you can see this is the parabolic uh, surface is created here so because we have selected the parameter uh, 0.5 so if we just try to change it to 0.6 then it will become a hyperbolic one so this is a hyperbolic now so we can just uh, change uh, we can just uh, identify it with the help of this parameter if you want it as, as an elliptical then you can just change it to less than 0.5 and just preview it you can see this is becoming now elliptical so in this way you can uh, use this uh, command so again he, here uh, uh, in, in the sweep you can directly change the angles here uh, directly change the angle to and then also the parameters you can change here you can see the parameter so you can change the parameter as well so let's uh, keep it to 0.5 again so it will become a parabolic one so just double click it and here as well you can you can use the relimiters so again let's say if you want to use a relimiter one just uh, right click here in the no selection field and then uh, create a plane over there and here uh, we'll, we'll create a plane which is normal to this curve again so select the option of plane type as normal to the curve and here also you can just lock this so that uh, it will not be automatically changed okay select the curve select this curve here and then again if you see uh, it is uh, going to be in the middle by default so let's change it now and uh, here also uh, it will ask for the point definition and we need to provide a point type so here we'll create a point on the curve just lock this here and then uh, select this uh, curve and then on the ratio i will provide the uh, ratio of the curve line so you can see the green uh, 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 the blue one the blue dot is nothing but a our point so you can simply uh, change it to 0.9 let's try this and you can see that this is the uh, point we have created with a 0.9 ratio if you just change it let's say uh, 0.8 and preview it you can see it is going, going to be changed so for now let's uh, keep to for zero point uh, let's say three just click on preview and then click on ok here and again uh, in the plane definition just click on ok and then here you can click on the preview and you can see uh, the uh, pa the parabolic uh, surface has been created after this uh, relimiter now right and again if you want to change the direction of it you can just click on this uh, green uh, arrow and you can change that particular uh, surface location and you can see now the uh, surface is exactly between the relimiter sort of uh, relimiter plane this is the relimiter plane and then uh, this is the original uh, original plane origin plane so just click on ok so again if you want to uh, add the relimiter 2 then again you can do that you can just uh, create a uh, let's not create a midpoint just double click here escape it and then again uh, double click here and then uh, again create a plane so always uh, try to create a planes instead of any any point so here uh, again i will create a normal to the plane so just select this uh, normal here and then let's uh, keep it to the middle middle point and let's see if it throws any error okay so just click on preview okay so let's try to change it here let's change the create point here so maybe the surface is not on this side that's why it's throwing some error here so let's try to change it to 0.8 and then click on ok again click on ok and now just try to click on ok here so what is showing uh, the split or trim operation is impossible because the input bodies do not intersect each other so again i will edit it so just uh, remove here remove from here just remove it just uh, clear the selection again click on preview here and then i will change this direction let's uh, check this 
and then now I will try uh, this relimiter to just select this uh, line here and try to preview it click on ok just preview after it and you can see now it is creating it between these two relimiters and just click on ok so in this way uh, it's very easy uh, you can create a conic um, uh, surface with the two guide curves so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it uh, please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos in our uh, subsequent lectures we are going to cover all the remaining uh, types uh, for the conic profile type thank you so much